This Johnson Valiant has got uh, new capacitors. Here's your electrolytics here. New ones here. And down here. They've all been replaced. And new relay down here. This assembly here replaces the original. These are high voltage doorknob capacitors. Same value as the original but much heavier duty. And these have been replaced. Same voltage rating. The uh, line cord has been replaced with a three, uh, three pin grounded. On the top of this valiant, we can see we've got solid state replacements for the 866 rectifier tubes. The tubes all check good. Um, we got new suppressor resistors here on the uh, modulator 6146's. The chassis has some dirt. It's not rust but uh, there is some dirt from years of accumulation on here which really shouldn't hurt anything. Transformers are original. Don't see any problem or any leakage there with them. On the back, the uh, jacks have been labeled. We have what looks like a new uh, jumper plug here that needs to be left in, of course. Um, we have a, uh, <clears throat> a fuse here that's been installed in, in replacement for the uh, or to replace the uh, line cord type fuse and like I said a new a new uh, line cord these are uh, wire ties and they've been taped onto the cord to give you just a little bit more uh, support there for the cord okay we'll go around the front here take a look at it and um, everything is original. We've got all the little white things on the on the knobs. And got a few little uh, places where the paints wore off, which is very typical on Johnson equipment, around the edges especially. It's got the crystal cover. This Johnson Valiant has got uh, new capacitors. Here's your electrolytics here. New ones here. And down here. They've all been replaced. And new relay down here. This assembly here replaces the original. These are high voltage doorknob capacitors same value as the original but much heavier duty and these have been replaced same voltage rating the uh, line cord has been replaced with a three, uh, three pin grounded On the top of this valiant, we can see we've got solid state replacements for the 866 rectifier tubes. The tubes all check good. Um, we got new suppressor resistors here on the uh, modulator 6146's. The chassis has some dirt, it's not rust but uh, there is some dirt from years of accumulation on here 
it really shouldn't hurt anything. Transformers are original. Don't see any problem or any leakage there with them. On the back, the uh, jacks have been labeled. We have what looks like a new uh, jumper plug here that needs to be left in, of course. Um, we have a, uh, <clears throat> a fuse here that's been installed in, in replacement for the uh, or to replace the uh, line cord type fuse. And like I said, a new a new uh, line cord. These are uh, wire ties and they've been taped onto the cord to give you just a little bit more uh, support there for the cord. Okay, we'll go around front here, take a look at it, and um, everything is original. We've got all the little white things on the on the knobs. And got a few little uh, places where the paints wore off, which is very typical on Johnson equipment, around the edges especially. It's got the crystal cover. We have the uh, Valiant plugged in and I just got through loading it up on 160 meters. I've checked it on some other bands and it's got full output power anywhere from about uh, 100 to uh, 125 watts depending on the band and de depending on how hard you load it up. I don't want to push it too hard but it, it does seem to have a lot more power output than some Valiants. I suspect the uh, plate voltage is higher because of the solid state rectifiers instead of the 866 tubes. So uh, we can um, I've got a radio over here turned on to uh, tuned in to 1.9 megahertz on the 160 band and I've got the uh, rig loaded up so let's turn it on and uh, we've got a, a D104 here I'll put the camera on the meter so we can watch the modulation testing one two three four one two three I'll flip it one two three four testing one two three four hope you can see the modulation meter and looking at the output power one two three four five so there we are about a hundred watts hundred watts AM sounds pretty good the VFO calibration is uh, let me turn the turn it off here is uh, very close it says 1.9 I've got my radio set on 1.9 megahertz so that looks good. We've adjusted the um, uh, the bias for the uh, final and for the modulators at 55 and uh, 50 volts respectively. So everything seems to be working fine.